Body composition testing. There are three body composition tests you need to know for this course. The BMI, the BIA and skinfold tests. The body mass index provides a simple measure of body fat and can signify if a subject is overweight. The validity of the test for sports performers is questionable as it does not take into account muscle mass of an athlete. For example, a muscular rugby forward would probably come out as overweight or obese. Participants measure their height and weight and then complete the following calculations. Bioelectrical Impedance Analysis Test. This test gives a prediction of body fat. An electrical current is passed through the body and detects the difference between fat-free mass and fat mass. Muscles, bones and connective tissues conduct electricity, but fat mass does not. Therefore, if there is a weak electrical current, it will equate to a higher percentage of body fat. The test only needs to place electrodes on the left hand and foot of the test subject. But there can be several problems with the validity of the test if it is not conducted properly. Participants must not exercise 12 hours prior to the test, cannot drink caffeine before the test and cannot eat or drink for 4 hours before the test. The equipment is also expensive so it is not always available to all athletes. A link to the test being performed is included in the description below. Skinfold testing. Skinfold testing is another method for predicting percentage of body fat. Using skinfold calipers, test subjects will have three measurements taken from specific sites on the right hand side of the body. Male skinfold sites include the chest, the thigh and the abdomen. while females test tricep, the suprailiac, and the thigh. The tester will pinch the skin between the thumb and index finger, mark the site with a pen, and then record the measurement with the skin fold calipers. The measurement is performed three times and the average is used to compare on the nomogram. A link to the test being performed is included in the description below. So that summarises the three methods of assessing body composition. Don't forget why coaches and athletes would use these tests in parallel to a training programme. Sports like boxing and martial arts have different weight divisions, so a fighter will always have to keep an eye on their body composition leading up to a competition. In general, the lower a person's percentage body fat, the healthier and fitter they are, as people with a higher percentage body fat have a higher risk of developing cardiovascular diseases.